All right, another wonderful day living the life of a controls tech. Um, I actually wanted to do this video inside the uh, server room, but there was a pesky uh, telecom guy there that was sitting there like this on the phone the whole time working on his issues and kind of felt stupid sitting there next to him talking to myself. So uh, sorry the background isn't as cool as looking at some server racks or whatever, but it was a small data server uh, room and it was for a school district. And uh, I guess just wanted to say that, you know, when you become a controls tech, the best thing you can do is be more than a controls tech. Uh, one of the things that, that I learned coming into this kind of work, um, I mostly knew computers, not so much air conditioning or controls. Um, so anything techy I'm good at or whatever, I always try to figure out stuff or whatever. So in this case, what we were doing was having to repartition the uh, hard drive off of a Windows Server 2003 operating system. And the problem was is that in IT world, um, it's a good practice to set your Windows operating system on the C drive and then uh, install everything else on the D drive. That way, if you ever have to upgrade the operating system, you can only mess with the C drive and it won't affect all your program files you have saved. I understand when you do that, you still got to you know reload all your software again. So if you're trying to do this at home on your home computer, just realize even though you have to dump the operating system, the program files, the C program files where all your stuff stored, that's going to be empty. You're still going to have to have your re-download all your software. If you're one of those guys, uh, guess what? You're going to have to go get your uh, free software all over again. So um, just know that when you separate that, you're still going to have to go to the rigmarole of reloading everything. But at least the files are all intact on the D drive or whatever other letter you use. And that way you wipe off Windows, it doesn't affect anything. You don't necessarily have to back it all up on, on something else. So anyway, I was repartitioning it. And I've done this one other time on another customer site. And it didn't come out so pretty. So I was kind of nervous today. But today it worked out really smooth. Uh, it's 11.30. So let's see, it kind of took me about two hours. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, I was real happy about it. The longest time of that two hours was actually copying files to the USB drive. That took the longest because uh, it was the slow USB port. So uh, actually using the software that I got, which is called uh, uh, Partition Magic, or not Partition Magic, I take that back. It's actually an offshoot. Partition Magic doesn't exist anymore, but it's a company called Mini Tool, M-I-N-I-T-O-O-L, um, dot, uh, man, it's Canada, so I think it's dot C-A. Uh, Mini Tool dot C-A, Partition Server or something like that. Uh, partition wizard server or something whatever that's what I used and it was actually it today it worked like it should have done the last time which is you resize your partitions you reboot it does its thing and it works so another day living the life controls free see you in the next video